This is the Rin Speed Scuba, the first car ever that can drive both on land, on water and underwater. It's a £750,000 concept car and as the only fifth gear presenter who's a qualified diver, I'm going to be one of the first people in the world to experience it. And I'm rather nervous. You see, Rinspeed keep on emphasising how this is just a prototype. And before I go anywhere near the water, I've got to sign this waiver. Which, amongst other things, says that if I drown, it's not their fault. Not exactly confidence-inspiring. And I can't help but notice that this underwater car hasn't even got a roof on it. The Scuba's Swiss designer is a massive James Bond fan and was inspired by Roger Moore's Submersible Series 1 Lotus Esprit, which, if you remember, did have a roof. This may look like a normal Lotus Elise, but underneath they've taken out the engine and replaced it with five electric motors. One to power the wheels, two for the propellers at the back, and two more for these water jets. But electricity and water, they must be mad. I think I'll try it on the road first. You've got to keep remembering you haven't got Lotus Elise performance. If I've only got 54 kilowatts of electricity, as I might uh, have to accelerate the odd milk float, I'm not going to win any traffic light drawn breeze. No power sliding today. Well, I think I've discovered the scuba's full capabilities on land. What we need now is some water. Controlling the car underwater requires a ring speed expert. So I had to put my life into the hands of someone I'd never met before. Great. Lots of buttons being pressed. I think we're going to sink immediately, personally. Fabian, are you sure this is right? Because it doesn't sink. No, it doesn't sink. Immediately. It's a boat. Is it comfortable? No. No? After a while, I sort of got used to cruising around in a car with Lake Zurich just a couple of inches below the windows. Now, it was time for the ultimate test. We donned the car's onboard breathing apparatus and prepared to dive. Now, the way we dive is quite simple. You just open the door and let the water in. We're sort of half sunk now. We're, we're going down. Oh, we're going down very far. It's the Berkey Tech. So I'm in a car, for God's sake. Fabian is uh, playing with his levers. I hope it'll come back up again. There was, however, one early problem. And it wasn't with the car. I'm slightly floating out. I've got a, a lead weight belt around me. Actually, the, the throttle pedal of what was the clutch pedal turned into a, a right throttle for the right hand stabiliser, and the clutch pedal is the throttle for the left hand stabiliser. This car can amazingly go down seven metres deep before it's got a, an automatic back to the surface. The engine cuts out at seven metres and it floats gradually up. If it had a roof, all the extra air volume locked inside would mean the car would have to weigh three tonnes to overcome the buoyancy, making the handling above and below water non-existent. And anyone worried about the environment can relax. Oil leaks don't matter, as all the lubricants in this car are biodegradable. <laughs> I want one of these. It'd be Mediterranean holiday house. If I had a Mediterranean quality house. 
there was just one final hurdle. Could we actually make it back to terra firma? Sorry, no fish to throw out. The James Bond has just got to have one of these.